I want to join their team. I want to live their lives. I want to be a ranger. Borneo is such an incredibly special place. Along with the jungles, you've also got some of the best diving on earth. For me, there's nowhere quite like it. Borneo, Southeast Asia's beating heart. Earth's third largest island and one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. Bursting with bizarre, brilliant and beautiful life. There are countless unique species hidden in the jungles and reefs of this massive island. And I'm on a mission to meet them all. My name is Aaron Jakoski, but you can call me Bertie. I'm a conservationist, journalist and underwater photographer. But now I'm leaving the ocean behind and heading into the jungle. Borneo's natural wealth is its greatest asset, and sadly, its greatest problem. Its jungles are under severe threat from human activity, from orangutans losing their homes through deforestation, to rare species like sun bears being killed for traditional medicine. Conservation concerns us all. And it's my mission to share these stories with new audiences, the conservationists of tomorrow. There's one story that I've only just learned about, and it's an issue that is particularly close to my heart. I recently learned about Borneo's unique subspecies of elephant. Borneian elephants are shy, gentle giants, but their future is uncertain. Elephants are smart, social animals, and they face a huge number of problems worldwide. In 2013, a group of 14 Borneian elephants were found poisoned in a palm oil plantation, a case that grabbed headlines around the world. Only one, a baby, survived. This is the most shocking story about elephants I've come across since 2013 when I was doing a job in Zimbabwe. And then suddenly hearing about all of these elephants in Borneo made all of the images come flooding back. And this is a story that's never left me. A few years ago, I filmed a story for a South African broadcaster about elephants who were being poisoned for their tusks in Hwangi National Park, Zimbabwe. I went out there and covered the story. However, I was only there as a journalist. I was desperate to get more deeply involved, but there was only so much I could do. Ever since, I wish I could have done more to help. I've slowly fallen in love with these magnificent creatures and I'll do whatever it takes to help their plight. So now it's time for me to leave this beautiful ocean behind and actually get on the front line. To get a better understanding of the situation, I had to follow the story here in Borneo for myself. So this is baby Joe, who's the sole survivor of the tragic poisoning events back in 2013, where 14 of his herd were killed. Three years on and Joe still struggles to connect with other elephants. Elephants are intelligent, social animals with incredible memories. So there's no wonder that he's been left quite badly damaged from the event. 
I spoke to Dr. Diana Ramirez, one of the vets involved in Joe's rescue. So Dr. Diana, we just saw Joe. It was quite a different scene back in 2013, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, in 2013, when we used rescue him, he was just standing beside his, his mother and he was dying. He was trying to wake up. So it was a very sad and a very shocking scene for us. Dr. Diana is part of a specialist team that have looked after Joe ever since he was found. Despite all of their hard work, Joe can still be a handful. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Come on, Joe. How's he been doing? So far, he's doing great. He's uh, getting naughty, but this is normal behavior from an elephant of his age. He's growing up well, adapting well, so we are happy with that. He lost his family on the way, but now he found a new family here. It was really interesting for me seeing the guys at the WRU who are helping to rehabilitate Joe are just doing an incredible job, essentially acting as a surrogate family for him. I definitely thought that was something that I'd really like to get involved with. I started to find out more about the group responsible for Baby Joe's survival, an elite team of local vets and rangers, known as the Wildlife Rescue Unit. Founded in 2010, the WRU fights to resolve the human-animal conflict threatening Borneo's future. In Wangi, I was a journalist, uh, but in Borneo, I actually want to be out in the field. I want to join their team, I want to live their lives, I want to be a ranger. If I really want to make a difference in the battle for Borneo's wildlife, I'm going to have to join the Wildlife Rescue Unit. It'll be an adventure unlike anything I've done before. Ultimately, I hope that I'm of some use to them. I'm not sure that I will be, but I hope I am. By actually joining the WIU, I hope to gain a deeper understanding of some of the issues that they work on. If I can do that, then I'll be happy. What I don't want to happen is that I end up slowing the guys down. They're obviously quite fit and they know the jungle really well. I can't lie, so if I don't like something about you, you would know. If uh, what Dr. Sen said is true, then yeah, it's going to be interesting.